and the Nigerian Navy has flagged off a one-week multinational joint maritime security exercise in Port Harcourt. The exercise is in partnership with the French Navy, United Kingdom and allied African countries' Navy. A correspondent, Monica Ogwa, witnessed the exercise. <laughs> This shot signals the official flag of, of the exercise, which the Navy says will improve security on the nation's territorial waters and the Gulf of Guinea. To successfully embark on the exercise, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral A.Z. Gambo, represented by the flag officer commanding Central Nova Command, Rear Admiral Obi Egbuchalam, highlights what it will take the participating countries. The exercise serials and scenarios will cover anti-piracy, protection of oil facilities, as well as search and rescue, among others. Overall, I'm optimistic that this exercise will add impetus to my aspiration for an improved readiness of the Nigerian Navy for maritime combat and operations through training. It is not all the time that the security report is negative. On the Gulf of Guinea, the chief of naval staff says security has improved substantially. He attributes this success story to the commitment of his men. It is very important considering the multinational nature of maritime crimes for exercises such as Exercise Grand Africa Nemo, which serve as um, viable platforms for multinational and multi-agency collaboration in the fight against these uh, maritime crimes and um, in ensuring security of the maritime environment overall, particularly in our sub-region. Being a multinational operation involving other countries' navy, the Fleet Officer Commanding Central Fleet, Komodo Olusonya Bonkole, enumerates the number of ships and countries that will participate in the exercise. In line with the CNS strategic directives, and a particular directive for this exercise, about 12 Nigerian Navy ships and two helicopters across the commands will be deployed for this exercise. From Lagos, 